welcome back, pet parents. I'm so excited for today's episode because, well, y'all know, I just don't bring you guys supplements very often because I'm not a big supplement person. I am a food forward nutritionist who wants to do everything we can with food. And so when I had the opportunity to bring today's guest on, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I should. And then I remembered so many other like friends in the healthy pet space who recommend this brand and i was like you know what i need to look into this anyway because my dog is aging she's getting up there and um it is very food forward in my opinion this particular supplement brand so i want to welcome tim mitchum from win pro pet on today's podcast thank you so much for being here with me today tim yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, Jessica. And I'm I in my uh I'm excited to talk to you about kind of not supplement supplement. So I'm excited for that. Yes. Well, and that is the thing. You know, I'm I make a big deal out of the fact that this is my podcast, that this is not on a network. I don't have advertisers telling me what to do or who to talk to or what to say because I feel very strongly and very passionate about food therapy. Food is medicine. Nature mm -hmm. provides, right? And it's wonderful that we have pharmaceuticals and other supplements that are out there to fill in the gaps when we need them, but it is not my go-to by any means. <laughs> so yeah. I don't, yeah, I just, I don't have a ton of supplements on it because it's, it's, there are a lot of supplements. I don't care if you're looking at human supplements or pet supplements, or, I mean, there are so many, it just makes your head spin. And I know my like pet parent clients are just like, what about this one? What about this one? What about this? And they'll send me like 20 links. Like, what about this supplement? What about this supplement? And I'm right. like, you're going to hear me say no a lot. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's funny. It's funny you say that because like from my, like my viewpoint, there's really not that many. They're just different forms of the same ingredients, right? Like, and I have the inside kind of into like manufacturing and that kind of stuff. And there's, there's a lot of stock formulas that get made with a lot of different labels for hundreds and hundreds of companies. So when there is a, a lot, in reality, there's very kind of, there's not very much innovation, I don't think, in that space, um, which is probably where you're skeptical and for right, rightly so, right? Like it's just kind of one of those things. Um, so I think that's interesting that that you bring that up because we, we're definitely different than that. And we are um, food forward um, a company, like, you know, as less is more is the way we look at it. Yeah, sorry, my dog is, I don't even oh, know, I can't okay. see what I'm, she's working at. So we're on dog It dog. happens all the time on the show. Right, we, I've got the weird, I've got the one dog in the world that never barks. So oh it, unless I pick up the Frisbee and then she goes crazy. So Come I'm barking along. like crazy when I pick up the Frisbee. So I don't, I don't know. It, yeah, at least you know what she loves, right? <laughs> right, for sure. Um, yeah, I, well, and it is interesting you say that uh, about like kind of the same ingredients just in a bazillion different products, because that is exactly what I see. And I'm not on your end, but I, I know that it's like this product and this product and this product and this, they're all getting this one ingredient from the same place. I know that, you know, like there's, there is so much overlap and it's just, uh, a lot of it is just marketing. How can I make my oh, product? For sure that is exactly the same as 10 other products look better than these 10 other products. Um, which is why when I look, when I actually took the time to look at WinPro, which I'm not going to lie, like the first dozen times I heard about it, I was like, <gasps> right. I was like, I'm not even no going to look at it. It's not, I'm, I'm not, I like, I don't need another supplement to look at. And then I looked at it and I'm like, Oh, this is different. So can you <laughs> right, tell, right. tell my listeners why you're so different? Yeah. So first off, like we, we really fit into a weird category because we're not, 
we're not a nutritional supplement, but we're not medication, but we're kind of, we work like medication, but on a holistic, natural way. We don't mask the symptoms or pain. We treat the inflammation at the source, but we do it with zero nutrition. Like our, we have no nutritional like claim or real benefit. So WinPro is plasma based pet health. So we take science that is based in the science of plasma and blood proteins and all the good things that come out of blood. We take that science and then infuse it into our products to create products that the real goal of our products um, is to just restore the dog to normal, help them restore the, themselves to normal because plasma is nature's natural enemy to inflammation. And if you get rid of the inflammation that the nutrition or, you know, a good lifestyle isn't able to necessarily keep up with, then you've allowed the body to heal itself, which is what we want. We want the body to be put into a position to heal itself. And that's with good nutrition, a lot of other things, but with all the toxins, all the things that attack um, our dogs to stress them out on a regular basis, um, it's very, we, we feel like it's, it's, we add value when, um, a little something extra is needed to help them return to normal. That's really where we, um, find ourselves in the, the fit that we're at. Yeah. Well, and there is such a need. There are so many holes, gaps that are there to be, that can be filled because I mean, just in I see a different side of pet parenting than most people, not necessarily sure. even most pet parents see because of the clients that I work with. And I tend to work with, they just found me. I didn't choose this. Um, the majority of my clients, their dogs have severe leaky gut, mm. so many food sensitivities. It's unreal. Um, what can we actually feed this dog? It, it like, these are the issues that I, I personally tend to work with. And right. a lot of times we can get them to a point with the foods where we are able to feed them while we're trying to get the body into a state where it can do what it's supposed to do. Like you were just saying and heal itself. You know, we're not here to heal anything. We're here to provide an environment in which the body can do what it is supposed to do. And exactly. there are so many pet parents and the, the reality is that kibble still feeds the world, right? Um, it is a majority of what feeds our pets, which, and, and that in itself is highly inflammatory. But even if we look at all of the pet food on the market, which is the foundation of health, right? So it is the foundation of health. Mm -hmm. You can't out supplement a bad diet. But there are still, even in the, the healthy pet food space, as I put my little quote fingers up, even in the healthy pet food space, we still see a lot of foods formulated with synthetic supplements. And sure. that alone leaves gaps, in my opinion because they can be inflammatory, they're foreign to the body. Um, so that even if you are trying your best, but you're, you still have to save money, so you're feeding a food that does have some, that, like there are still gaps in anything we're doing. And then as our pets age, or if they do succumb to some disease, you know, there's some, some disease process that comes in to play, we have even more holes. We have even more gaps to fill. So this type of product, in my opinion, is one of those really, really great things we can use that's not synthetic, that's not just another synthetic we're throwing into the mix, right? To help. Does that, did I sum that up? Okay. Did, yeah, did that for sure. <laughs> Well, I'm the, I'm the first person that to, that's answering that, but not yet. That, I mean, that makes perfect sense to me, 100%. Yeah, so plasma. Um, and I was reading, it's all pork. It's all pig, correct? Yep. Yep, there are bovine, there's porcine, 
pig. That, so WinPro is based around porcine plasma. So pig, yep. Okay. And so you were saying that it it's one of the best tools we can use to fight inflammation in the body. What what is that do? Can you explain? Maybe not yeah, so, super sciencey, but like kind of the science. Yeah, no. <laughs> yep, I know how to be real dumb. Trust me. That's what <laughs> that's I need. My de- that's my <laughs> default um, by nature. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of background. Um, back in the eighties, so I'm from Iowa. The whole company is um, based basically in Iowa. We have remote team members. But um, back in the 80s at Iowa State University, which is just up the road from us in Ames, Iowa, um, not the Caitlin Clark University that everybody knows about now, the Hawkeyes, but Iowa State University. And they were having a, a, a terrible mortality issue when they were weaning piglets. Um, and so they tried um, food, different food. They tried different environmental factors. Um, they tried a whole host of things that just didn't seem to work. And at the time, a scientist was working on a spray dried plasma matrix formula um, that he believed could have real health benefit to animals. And so he got them to sprinkle this on the food, introduce it into the um, diet, and the mortality rate dropped like a rock dramatically. And the, what they find out, found out about that was it had nothing to do except for the situation was so stressful that it was creating so much inflammation, but that was what was creating the mortality issue. And plasma by nature is the a natural anti-inflammatory and it works very quickly and it works with the body's, the the system so well to go where there's inflammation, excess inflammation, and really reduce that at the core. And it's one of the um, interesting things about our products is most people don't know this, but we're a member of the NASC, which is a pretty popular National Animal Supplement Council. We, we live in an kind of an unregulated world, but there are groups that we can follow and, and get, get guidance from and really try to be something inside of the space. And that is one of the groups. And because of the body of knowledge and science around plasma, we're the only ones approved by the NASC to actually have an inflammation claim on the product, which is extremely rare. Um, legally <laughs> to do that the right way. I mean, some people may do that, but to have that approved is really rare, but it's all about the science um, around plasma. And that science has made it through every species. So it started in pigs, then it went to like cattle, all the livestock, poultry, goats, lambs, and ended up in the performance racehorse world. And that is where our founder was introduced to it, who was working for the company that was developing the products for the racehorses. And I don't know if you know much about the racehorses, Jessica, but they are like the super stressed animal. Like if you can think of the amount of stress they go through, it's incredible. And they have a issue that when they get to a certain point, they'll start bleeding through their nose. It's called bleeders. And I didn't know anything about that, Um, but that's all an inflammation um, related stress situation. And so he was developing a product for that performance racehorse market. And it had such profound impact. He decided, wait a minute, I don't like horses. Cause he just wasn't comfortable around horses and stables. These big animals just like at any moment could crush you. And he has five dogs at home. And he's like, what if this science could work for dogs because in his world, there is, if you could, dogs could live forever. I mean, that's, that's the, that's the best possible outcome. Right. Um, and so he just made the leap of faith. Um, Bill Bernardo is his name and brought that science to the canine world. And then WinPro has been pioneering that into this space that, like you said, is really, um, saturated with lots of the same. It's really lots of the same, to be honest with you. It might be a tweak of an ingredient, but 
I can tell you exactly what a hip and joint product ha has in it for any supplement, for any dog brand, you know, and outside yeah. of some of the, the random ones. So, but that's kind of where it got it start, start. Wow. So in horses, uh, well, with horses, pigs, the mortality rate of pigs, and he kind of yeah. tracked it all the way through to performance. Since the yeah. 80s. I mean, it's been around for like 40 years. It's crazy to think about. Well, and you know, we say that, but the reality is if we really look back and even now there are still cultures that eat blood. Oh, for like, sure. It's a thing, right? Like it's gross to us here in the U.S., right? Where so, ew, I would never eat organs. Meanwhile, I'm over here taking desiccated organ supplements because I know. Right. My butt isn't eating the organ meat, right? <laughs> right. So, yeah, we know, like, historically, there, our ancestors knew the benefits of blood. And I think, you know, I think back to, like, all of the shows that my husband watches on YouTube a lot. He just walked in the door. So I'm now I'm thinking about all these shows he watches and he'll like, so he watches people literally travel around the world and they will, you know, these tribes will to welcome a guest. It's they'll pray over and kill and eat a goat. Right. For example. Right, right. And it is like the prized thing for like the elder of the tribe, he gets that first bowl of blood. So right. we know, we just, we've forgotten. Well, what's really interesting, I think, is to take it to like a, like a, a, a level of translating into, let's say, dogs or companion or canines, um, is when there's a, a pack of wolves in nature and they have a kill. Well, the alpha wolf gets first choice of the animal and he, they always apparently go for the organs, which is the most saturated with blood. And it's the, that's the, what blood has in it, which is the, that's like an innate thing, right? Which is amazing to think about. Like they just know that's what, if they don't get anything else, they need that. That's the most powerful thing in that, opportunity um but what we do is we simply take because of science and technology we take what's in that blood and extract it into a powder form so that we can give it orally to animals and in our case you know dogs and cats okay that was actually going to be my next question how do you how do you make it <laughs> yeah so it's it's, it's the big, the, the very short version is you, we take, we take the recycled blood, we run it through and I'll put, I'll give all this information to you so you can put it in the show notes. Cause there's definitely questions around it. We spin out and fractionate all of the proteins and the good things inside. And then we, that comes out inside of a, a powder form, like a spray dried plasma powder. And then we use that powder just like any other ingredient that you would use and we just happen to use it as the core ingredient in all of our products. Awesome. So in looking at the WinPro, so it's winpropet.com is what I'm yep. looking at. There are different formulas. So I've been seeing an allergy formula, a hip and joint formula, which you've already mentioned, um, a calming formula, which is really interesting to me because of my dog gut health and immunity so you have different formulas recovery um so health and wellness oh you have functional dental sticks which is also really really interesting to me so there's lots of different products the um pig blood is the main component of all of them but then you're taking other ingredients and kind of making making different products to suit different animals needs. Correct? Yeah. So we're taking, we're taking the plasma powder as a core ingredient and then we're just, and that's the majority of that um, formula matrix. And then we're wrapping around it a couple complementary ingredients that would be normal to, you know, the world. So like our hip and joint, instead of having four different, four or five or six or 10 ingredients, 
active ingredients, we would have plasma powder and balanced collagen. So it mm -hmm. supports that the the support that you're looking for it's the ingredient that supports that outcome um like calming we would have theanine and tar taurine um so we are like in gut health would be marshmallow um powder and licorice licorice those two ingredients I'm, i think i'm getting them kind of combined at the same time um but complementary ingredients to um whatever the the remedy is that we're trying to to solve. And then on the functional dental sticks, which is interesting to say that I was actually super skeptical of that product because a dental stick to me needs to like scrape something or mm -hmm. like be harder. Um, but the studies sh showed that plasma works really most of the issues with um, oral health and animals and same thing with humans, but um, comes from in, in the gums, like it starts with bacteria in the gums, inflammation in the gums and lining. And then it translates into all the visible things that, you know, we kind of see. And so we like everything that we do with our products, try to go to the, the source or the root of the issue. And the dental stick is really designed to just be chewed for like 15 to 25 seconds and let that plasma kind of, you know, ruminate in there. Yeah. Um, and it's had like remarkable results. I, like we, we don't really do much for like fresh breath with it. Like, it's not like we've overpowered it with some kind of ingredient, um, or any type of whitener of any kind, but, but we keep hearing back that the breath is now finally fresh and the teeth are white again. And that to me, it just blows my mind because it, it like, I can understand like in the soft tissue of the joints, something changing and you see the dog differently, but just, but that just is hard for me to understand. Maybe it's because I'm just so used to like the greeny world that we live in, you know, like it, it's, it's hard, right. but, but the science really does what it's supposed to do. Well, yeah. And I'm looking at the ingredients on those, um, functional dental sticks as well. I mean, the parsley, obviously that, that could help, but I was talking to, um, Dr. Katie Kangas recently. So she was my like February dental health month episode. Mm. And, um, yeah, we were talking a lot about the oral microbiome. So the, and I'm seeing that there, there are probiotics in this chew mm -hmm. and that very well could be what's going like i mean along with the other ingredients that are yeah really you know beneficial for overall oral health and i mean i'm sure they're getting they're getting um the the benefits of the ingredients throughout the body but yeah for sure in that oral microbiome would definitely um create an environment for healthier breath because yeah. that, that's and what it is, right? It's a, it's a yeah, that's imbalanced it. microbiome that's creating that bad breath problem to begin with. Yeah, for sure. And I didn't really get that, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. I was just like, I don't know. Is this really going to work? But just follow right. the science and it, it, it works. Yeah. So there are quite a few products on the website. and I mean, not a ton, but enough that I think anybody looking um, for whatever is going on with their dog can find a product that would likely benefit them. And these are all dog specific. Do you have anything for cats or have you had anybody use these supplements with cats? Yeah. So we, um, we focus, we, we are not a company that focused on like, we have to launch 20 products. We just followed the science of what we knew would be beneficial. Mm -hmm. And so we have a limited number of SKUs. I think we're up to like 10 or 12, maybe now. Um, and we started with remedy products because you could see really amazing transformations, um, from dogs with allergies or mobility issues, um, you know, calming type of things. And then we've, in the last year really added a couple products that I'm super excited about, which is our prebiotic probiotic meal topper that has plasma prebiotics and probiotics. And we make it right down the street from my house in Urbandale, Iowa, um, which is really, I, I, I love that aspect of it, but that's a meal topper. 
And if there's any like digestive issues and the dog maybe is picky on treats or chews and that kind of stuff, this is a, a really good product that helps even like older dogs to um, consume food um, because it's very highly palatable. And so um, I, that that's something that I'm excited about because I give it to my dog Daisy every day. And then the dental stick, um, those are prevention um, types of products. And then, like you said, we have remedy products all for dogs. And we just launched, um, I shouldn't say launched, we just ordered our first round of cat meal topper um, and cat dental sticks and the dental bites, I guess. And I'm really excited about that because we've had people for the last couple of years ask us, do you have any of this for cats? Because I have cats too. I actually did not know that people had cats and dogs. I thought, I didn't know that that actually <laughs> happened. <laughs> so I got into this, but I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you were a cat person or a dog person. I didn't know that you could have each and be like yes. in the same house. So that's been kind of fun to um, see. And in fact, the founder of our company has three or four dogs and two cats now. Um, so I'm excited for that because there's a lot of, um, challenges with cats, um, dental health that I was not mm -hmm. aware of before getting into this one. You can't brush a cat's teeth. Um, the bacteria, I mean, I guess most people, it's hard. the bacteria, it's hard. the bacteria is like, can be deadly, like into like really, really bad. Um, if you're bitten, if like there's a certain level of bacteria and that kind of thing. So um, we've gotten a lot of requests for uh, a product that cats will eat, which they seem to be more finicky too. Um, mm -hmm. So we've had a lot of great testing around that. And um, we've got a product that we're really excited about, some dental bites, and then also the, the meal topper for some of the um, digestive issues. Yeah, I'm really excited for that too, because I tell everybody that will listen to me that cats are harder than dogs. Yeah. Hands down. And some people are like, yes, you were absolutely right. And then cat people are like, how dare you? <laughs> um, and I feel like I can say this because I was a cat person long before I was a dog person. So I have had cats from literally the day I left my parents' house when I turned 18 years old. I have had a cat, at least one. And um, the most I've ever had indoors was 12. I'm down to four now. Uh. So I've got my four cats and my dog. Normally we would have two dogs, but my dog right now doesn't like other dogs. So it's one dog <laughs> and four cats. <laughs> and they That's are. crazy. It is, they are so much more difficult and, um, yeah, it, it, it's their teeth and their gut, their kidneys. I mean, honestly, they're, they are just so difficult to, to pet parent. Um, yeah, right. so I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I think even with the, um, food topper, if you're putting a probiotic in that, You've got the plasma, you've got the probiotic that could have positive effects on dental health in itself. Sure. Um, so that that could be certainly beneficial. I'm really excited for that. So <laughs> yeah, really excited. It. Glad to hear that. Um, so do you happen to have any like just that pop to your head, like really amazing success stories with these products. Oh my gosh. There's like so many of them, like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm at the company one. Okay. And then the one that just popped into my head, um, uh, from a testimony we just got the other day, that was amazing. But, um, I think that, I think the reason I'm at the company, I think highlights a little bit about how our products work. And, um, I, had a long haired chihuahua. Now I married into this long haired chihuahua. I am not, I am not a long haired chihuahua guy, no. but I ended up loving this dog, Roxy. Like we were like best buds. She got me through some tough times. And, um, so she, I loved her to death, but as she got older, she stopped and this happens all the time. Right? So she's this little, little dog. Her legs were like that tall. 
Um, and she would jump up and down on the couch in the bed. And I didn't, I, I realized after a while, like, that's like me jumping off of the roof of my house up and down, up and down. It's like really tough on, especially yeah. little dogs joints. Um, and so she eventually stopped doing that. And then, you know, we just like, oh, she got older. So for three or four years, she didn't jump up on the couch or the bed. And my friend who is a partner, local investor here in Iowa was investing in this company called WinPro. And he's like, Hey, you should try. I mean, it's pretty interesting. The science is from Iowa state. You know, I, he goes, I don't know much about it, but I think it's really cool and good product. Science is great. So you should try these, you know, hip and joint shoes. And I'm like, okay, you know, super skeptical because I was not supplementing a dog ever or any animal ever. It's just like, food. If it didn't work out, then just that, that was it. Try a different food. Um, and I've also been through the era of I've crossed all the dog generation behavior eras. I think I've been alive when a dog was just outside period. Mm -hmm. I've been alive when a dog was outside with a dog house and maybe in a carport or a garage. I've been alive when the dog got to come in when it was just like zero degrees outside, especially in Iowa. And then I now I'm alive when we're sleeping with the animals in our bed. So I've like crossed these, you know, great chasms of pet ownership and pet parenting. And um, so I was not like high on that, but I gave, I gave her her last milk bone or something at the time, her little treat. And I thought, oh, before I go out, I'll just, I'll finish up this bag of these, you know, supplements that my buddy brought over. And so I gave her those. And within 15 days, she was jumping all over the house, couch, bed, everywhere. And my big aha moment was she could always logistically make that jump. Like physically, her body had all the right things in place. There's no tears. There's just, she could physically do it. At some point, she was just in enough pain or discomfort that she chose not to. And then she, if you don't relieve that pain and discomfort, and in our case, inflammation, then a new pattern creates itself and people start picking them up. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they just kind of a whole new pattern when you take that away. Um, they feel like they've got puppy legs back, but in reality, they just got their normal legs back for the period of life that they're in. And then they can make different choices. And it was, so it was a huge aha moment for me to think, wow, products, like a good product can really make a massive difference, like, and change that dog's life. Um, and to me, that was super exciting to be able to be a part of a company that, you know, it, it may not work for every dog. Um, not every dog eats every product, but when, when they do and they have a problem, it can be absolutely transformational. And that's exciting to go and be a part of. That's a wonderful story. And it brought back so many memories because I do remember when I was little, that this is why I was a cat person for such a long time, because growing up, our dogs were outside, kenneled because they were hunting dogs, and it never sat right with me. And I just right. was like, I'm not a dog person. For so mm, that's long interesting. Of my life, I was like, this it just it didn't feel right, and I didn't know any different. And so I was just a cat person for the longest time, and then one day that all changed. <laughs> I've never heard that angle, but that I bet that happens a lot because. You would see what it is like to be a, a, to have a dog, but that doesn't seem good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, like if I that's what like you're that. exposed to, then why would, yeah, that's so interesting. I've never heard yeah. that before yeah. from that angle. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, to this day that, that haunts me, like Penny was her name, was the one I remember. Penny. Anyway. Um, um <laughs> And then just a really quick to add on to that is we get testimonies like this all the time, but just the other day, um, we got an extremely long testimonial 
and they even started, this is going to be long, but I just hope somebody hears this. And it was a gal named Tina. She had um, a dog that had struggled with allergies and itching and scratching, like just terribly for years. I think she said like four to five years. And she really had concerns about the um, Apoquil long-term, just like, just, it was like this vicious cycle. And um, within, I think she said three months, she was able to 100% get off of Apoquil and just to be on a natural product of our product, WinPro Allergy. And she was just thankful because it solved the problem. And it was also, it, it relieved the concern of what am I possibly doing to my best friend here, but I don't have another choice. Like we kind of fit that gap when, you know, this is masking the problem. Maybe nutrition at some point isn't enough. And we can kind of like come in to that, that gap that we can be good for you, like nutrition, um, but sometimes solve some really hard to solve problems um, and get you off of some of maybe that, that the harmful side effects or long-term actually side effects of those other products. Yeah. I actually just, well, from the day we're recording this, when are you, what is it today? It was a week ago. Tuesday. Today. I know today is Tuesday, <laughs> March 5th that we're recording this just so you can see. It normally takes about a month for me to like actually get these podcasts up no and out. But, um, so yeah, last Tuesday, um, my podcast was about Apoquel and, you know, just making smart decisions about it and understanding that for some animal, for some dogs, it's only approved for dogs, for some dogs, you know, it can be a bridge to help us get through while we're treating what's actually going on in the, like, yeah. while, because, because it's just masking symptoms. And so it's not for long-term use. And we know it's not for long-term use and the packaging says it is not for long-term use. And yet, you know, every, every dog I'm seeing, they've been on it for like nine years and it's like, Oh yeah. my God. And then, you know, the C word and the, like, because we know that it, it's, yeah. it's an immunosuppressant um it's not it's not for long-term use so i'm glad you brought that up um i would much rather see people <laughs> using this product and seeing how it works like it's it's not going to hurt just, anything to see how this works yeah. right and i i think that that's a really good point because i was just talking to somebody earlier today that made me really it goes along this conversation but it was a hip and joint conversation that how certain um, medications, if they're just masking the symptoms can actually make it worse because it's giving like, it's giving the, the dog false sense of stability or, um, health. And so they do things maybe they shouldn't be doing, you know, they're bone on bone or, you know, just like, so it, it, it is really, it's a really important topic to consider. It, yeah, absolutely. It is. And that, yeah, what you brought up is a very interesting point and definitely something like we have to think, of, you know, and it's like people, a lot of people don't even think about it for themselves. So why would they right. think about it for their pets? Um, and I always say, like, I, I think people who find the healthy pet space, the more holistic route to, to, um, raising their pets either get there because their dog or cat went through something horrible and they had nowhere mm -hmm. else to turn and they were like, okay, what is this? Or something horrible happened with their health. They turned it all around holistically. And then one day looked at their pet and was like, why am I feeding you this kibble? Or like, you know, yeah. like a light bulb comes on. So it's one of these two paths generally and it like it's sad but that we have to get to such a low point to find all this wonderful goodness in the world that that is available to us but it's the reality so we're here right we're here yeah. to catch you when you fall <laughs> <laughs> right what do they say that nobody goes to the doctor for prevention you know it's like it's just the yeah. way we're designed for some reason yeah. well 
Yeah, and our doctors don't even practice prevention. Most of them, I shouldn't say all of them. Most of them, right? Don't even practice prevention anymore. It's 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 really a you got to figure it all out for yourself kind of world. So um, I think that's yeah, one like of the a... good parts of social media. There are a lot of bad parts of social media, but one of the good parts of social media is that people like us and, you know, it, people in the human health world as well can get that message out about natural options, natural healing, you know, helping people understand that every pharmaceutical pretty much every pharmaceutical is some sort of derivative they've pulled from a plant and said, how can we make this synthetic and isolate it? And like, so mm -hmm. if we can go back to nature, if we can go back to what the earth is providing for us. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's my high voice. I always get. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with, I mean, I'm with you. Like I really am with you hundred <laughs> percent. So, um, where can people find, I'm sure you guys post on social, are you sharing your testimonials so people can see like what they're missing out on and all the things? Yeah. So we're on all the normal um, places, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, and I'll put, I'll give you links to, you know, every, everything. Um, you can, if you're, if you're interested in purchasing winpropet.com is our main site. We are on Amazon and Chewy. Um, those are the main three channels. Um, and then we do have a vet exclusive product that is coming out. We're marketing into the vets right now. Um, okay. So if anybody knows a vet that they have a really good relationship with and they want to send a couple free canisters of a vet exclusive product, we'd totally be game for, for helping get into their vet too. So Oh, that's wonderful. I, I love that because it is something that um, could be very beneficial for a lot of veterinarians. And, and when we think about like how veterinarians make money and can keep their doors open, if they can have a product right. and to, to provide that is going to be probably more beneficial than another product in its place. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get. Let's yeah, get that's it. why we want to give we want to give away sample like full canisters to them because we want them to bring it in, experience it with dogs in their vet office, see you know the impact, and then be passionate about bringing it in. The we I think we're in you know a dozen or so vet offices now without the vet exclusive product, and that solely comes from the um, vet who's open minded who wants to always learn about, you know, you know, alternatives and new options and different, different treatments, um, that they'll see a dog that's been in their office. They've done, you know, kind of the normal things and hasn't quite had the impact. And then the dog will come back whenever. And it's like jumping up onto the, the uh, exam table. And they're like, what, what happened? And they're like, well, I found the wind pro. Um, and then the vet reaches out, they understand the science of plasma and they bring it in. So we're, we're, we're really trying to, to push a vet exclusive product to help them um, and give them, you know, security that this is only sold. This particular product is only sold to the vet. So you guys can rest assured that if you recommend it, they have to come back, you know, and get it from you. So. Right. Well, thank you for that. Definitely um, check out winpropet.com. Talk to your veterinarian about it, especially if you've used it or you're going to use it and it works really, really well for your pet. Talk to your veterinarian about it because it is kind of like a, um, with everything in this space, we just, ha we have to keep talking and telling people about it so that we can grow it and get it out to more and more people um, uh, because it does. Yeah seem like a like a really wonderful product and I love that there's science behind it and it isn't just like you said like a replica of 500 million other products that are out right. there and I'll tell you for your for your listeners Jessica um we'll have a coupon code set up re reset 20 that'll give them 20 percent off um okay. of any first time and um on the first time subscription 
And I also want to add too, like we, we are really, we understand that not every dog is going to get a result or that they, some dogs are picky and don't eat certain types of products and, um, or whatever, but we have a 100% money back guarantee with a no ship back. You don't have to ship anything back. Just tell us. And if it didn't work out, no worries. Just, um, we just, we just ask that if you're up for it, you give it to somebody in need that, you know, cause maybe it'll help them, Yeah. Um, but we'll make sure that they get taken care of right away. So there's really should be like zero, zero risk. That's great. And thank you so much for that coupon code. I'll make sure that it is in the show notes and, um, yeah, all of your socials will be in the show notes as well. Um, with the guest profile that, that you filled out it is all linked everything on um the pet parenting reset.com awesome all of the links will be there and thank you so much for your time and for um explaining what this product is because it is so different like it is not like we started out saying this isn't just another supplement because right. i am not going to have just another supplement <laughs> on my show <laughs> Well, I'm glad. I'm thankful Not for that. Happen. So thank you so much for everything you're doing and for your time. Guys, check out winpropet.com. Thank you so much for being here, Tim. Thank you. Appreciate it, Jessica.